Good morning, Coach Slack here once again, continuing our readings on the Sinax Adian, the lives of the saints of the Orthodox Church. On this, the 2nd of May, we celebrate the memory of St. Boris Michael, Tsar of Bulgaria. Born and brought up a pagan, the glorious Prince Boris was instructed in the Christian faith through the influence of his sister and of one of his uncles, and Rabat Voyan who suffered martyrdom during the persecution unleashed by his predecessor, Malamir. When he took power, the prince turned first of all to the Latin missionaries. At the time of an alliance with the Franks against the king of Moravia, but becoming aware of the religious and cultural preeminence of Byzantium, he asked the emperor Michael III for baptism for himself and his people. He was baptized with great solemnity, in 864 by a bishop sent especially from Byzantium and received the name of his sponsor, the Emperor Michael. Following his example, a great number of the people, boyars and people of all classes, were converted in mass. The Patriarch of Constantinople, St. Photios, sent the Tsar a letter setting out the duties of a Christian ruler and then sent missionaries to Bulgaria. Boris made great efforts to organize his young church after the Byzantine model, but nurtured the hope of autonomy. Finding Constantinople ill-disposed, he turned to the Pope of Rome, who sent missionaries to Bulgaria with the task of disseminating the particular liturgical practices of the Latin Church and its erroneous concept of the procession of the Holy Spirit. The Tsar, quickly becoming aware of the danger of an allegiance that was not only ecclesiastical but also political, drove the Latin missionaries out of his kingdom. In March 870, a council placed a Bulgarian church under Constantinople's protection, and an archbishop from Byzantium, assisted by ten bishops, settled in Preslav to direct the Bulgarian church. Patriarch Ignatius later sent priests to Bulgaria to instruct the local clergy, and from 885 onwards, the five disciples of Saints Cyril and Methodius, the five from Ocrid, Clement, Naum, Angularius, Gerazd, and Savas, were entrusted with the mission, preaching the faith in the Slav language. They progressively baptized the rest of the people, so that soon, through the Tsar's support, the territory of Bulgaria was covered with churches in which God's praises were sung in Slavonic. In 888, the sovereign renounced the throne and retired to the monastery of St. Pantelemon. But when his son Vladimir, from 888 to, to 893, set himself to destroy his father's work by turning once more to the Latins and persecuting the Orthodox clergy, Michael laid aside his monastic garments and put on a soldier's uniform once more. He drove Vladimir from the throne and installed his younger son, Simeon. Having restored order, he then put on the monastic habit again and spent the rest of his life in Assisi's silence and prayer. He fell asleep in peace on the 2nd of May in 907. There was an icon from the Chronicle of Manas from the 14th century. Through the prayers of thy saints, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us. Amen.